my favorite guy in a mask. That's right. Uh, I'm in a mask. You're in a mask. Yes. Oh, wait. Where's Eddie? Eddie's in a mask. Wow, he's got Batman on. We're being socially responsible. That's right. Okay, we're, tell us where we're at. We are at Humphrey's Welding Supply Store. And what's the address? It is at 1825 North Main Street. And Spanish Fort. That is right. And also we have multiple stores across the state. Oh, yeah. American Fort. Uh, we have... Uh, one is St. George, Salt Lake City, and Richville. So, Woo! Big time. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've got a, what, uh, so I've had some students ask me about getting gas. Uh -huh. And uh, <clears throat> what kind of gases should they be looking for when they come into the welding store? Well, primarily uh, in the welding industry, you're looking at generally argon or argon CO2 or just straight CO2. And so let's say they have a MIG welder, what kind of gas should they get? So if they're MIG welding, they should get a 75-25 uh, uh, mixture of argon CO2. Uh, generally speaking, uh, that's, the, that's what you're looking for. All right, what if they're TIG welding? TIG welding, straight argon. Straight argon. Yep. All right. Well, um, why would you want 100% CO2 versus C25 for MIG welding? Well, uh, for a couple of different reasons. I mean, uh, CO2 is a little bit cheaper to run. Um, so that's one of the reasons why some people might, uh, might go to CO2. Um, the benefit of the 7525 is you get a little bit of a uh, more user friendliness well to it, less fatter. Um, and, uh, so that's you know, some of the reasons there. Right on. Look at that. You got gas? I got gas? Patrick will help you out. All right, so Pat. Yeah. Tell us about gases. Uh, well. So, what size tanks do I need? What size? Yeah, what size tanks? I mean, how, what kind of, what's the different sizes we got? So, I mean, I guess that kind of depends on uh, your preference. Uh, some people want smaller ones so that they can be more portable. Uh, but uh, the bigger the tank, the better the value. So, uh, obviously, so the more, if you... The more I buy, the more money I save in the long run. That's right. Yeah. So, it's a better value to get the bigger cylinders because it's going to go a lot longer way. The downfall is, is that they're big, they're kind of bulky, and they're kind of hard to move. But uh, so, um, and then what's your uh, preference? What, what's the better thing too on buying a tank outright versus <laughs> leasing a tank? Well, I guess it all. That's another preference. Uh, depends on if you're going to be having the cylinder for a long period of time or if a short period of time. Uh, so it all depends on what it is that you're looking for. Uh, we offer both here, so uh, long term you probably steer towards probably owning the cylinder. That way uh, you can uh, have it for long periods of time. There's no rent attached to it. You can just... So how much? So when you lease a cylinder, you pay like a, a rental fee. That's right. Uh, what is that usually like? Is that all dependent on the size of the cylinder? Uh, so we just have a flat rate, uh, 36 cents a day. So, 36 cents a day what a deal yeah so yeah I mean especially if you're, I mean if you're just there's a deposit on the cylinder uh, for, for the uh, do you get that deposit back you do yeah. oh, look at that. when you return the cylinder uh, you get that deposit back so, and then uh, you just pay for the contents and you take home the gas and pay the rent and when you uh, return the cylinder so. right on now uh, so what, uh, what would be the cost difference? I've got this little guy, that little guy, and that little guy. Yeah. What's the difference between one of those big tall ones and one of these little ones? So to, buy, if I, to buy them outright? To buy, let's say we're going to go big and we're going to buy outright. The, the price for the ranges, uh, generally, for the smaller cylinder that people are getting, which is a 55, which is just a tad bit smaller than this one. Yeah. So what size? Uh, 
That's an 80 cubic foot. 80 cubic foot. That's right. And then some people, let's walk over here. We can take a look at these things. We have, um, we drew a set of ink here. Those are all your fuel for uh, cutting, oxy fuel, right. welding, and cutting. Yeah. And uh, so you got, so that one was an 80. We had yeah. the, the 55 kind of tucked back there, but you can yeah. kind of see one back Those little way. tiny guys uh -huh. back there are 55s. Uh -huh. And there's the 80. Then there's your 80, and then there's a 125. Which is like that one there, the wizard. Uh huh, the wizard there. one, this one right uh -huh. there. It's a 125. And then you got the 275. Right 275. So those prices all range from 170, $175 for, to $310. So $175 for the small guy in the back to $310 for the bigger one. For the big, yes, what sir. was that cubic foot? 275. It all depends on what gas is in it. Yeah. It kind of ranges, but it's like a 250-ish to 300. And so that's to buy it outright, 300 bucks versus 175. And then how much is it to fill it? To fill it? Yeah. It depends on the gas. Depends so, on the gas. Yeah, gases they rate, they have a different prices. So uh, C25 is more expensive. And CO2 is less expensive. Argon is about the same price as C25, or is that? It's Yeah, argon's a little bit more money, which is mm -hmm. why when you mix two gases, it ends up being a little more money. Mm -hmm. And it costs, it costs a little bit more to mix the gases as well. Yeah. So, so you're looking about the same price for an argon and a C25. They're pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. All right, so there you go. If you uh, have any more questions, you know where Patrick is at. That's right. Come yeah. see me. Down here on Main Street, and you get yourself some gas, some wire, any hand tools, all that good stuff. Yep. Thanks, Pat. Woo! I really like Humphreys. I've been using them for a long time. Uh, great local company, uh, Utah owned and operated. So you're going to find almost anything you need down here and um, welders, plasma cutters uh, of all sorts of different brands. Um, they carry lots of different torches and accessories for cutting. They have lots of hand tools, um, plenty of welding helmets of all sorts of brands again and price ranges, very top end to your entry level. Um, they take care of our students really well uh, with their different tool options and accessories, safety gear, personal protective equipment. They have all the things you need for your grinders, the add-ons for sanding and polishing, uh, cutting, different types of welding rods, um, and regulators, engine driven welders. Come with a list so you know what to buy otherwise you'll leave with way more than you wanted. There are a lot of different options here in Utah for buying welding gases and supplies. I just like to support the local little guys. Go check them out.